Hi, and welcome to the second section of this course, showing images and videos in QML. In this section, we will learn how to create an application that loads images and videos using OpenCV and showing them using QML. In this video, we will learn some basic concepts of QML. Let's open Qt Creator and start a new project. Once you open Qt Creator, go and click in File, New File or Project. Now choose Application and Qt Quit Application Empty. Now choose a name and a directory for your project. I will name my project Example and leave the default directory. Once done this, click on Next and leave the default value for the rest of the auction. Click Next again, one more time, again, and now Finish. Perfect, we are ready to create our project. Now we can start programming. So let's click on Run and see what our project looks like. As you can see, the application is empty. Let's create a rectangle and show it in the screen. So close in here and let's go in here. Now we have to write the following code. Rectangle. Perfect. And now let's get a width of 100 and a height. And let's set a color for our rectangle. I'll choose red. Now let's run the application and see what happens. Perfect, we have our rectangle in the screen. Now let's center this rectangle and put a text inside of it. So close the app. Let's add an anchor to the rectangle. Enter in and we are going to center this rectangle to parent. That will be this window. Now let's add an ID to this rectangle. Let's call it red. Perfect. And now we're going to create a text. This text will show the string hello world. And we are going to anchor it in the center of our rectangle. Perfect. Now let's run the application again. And now we have it. We have our rectangle with the hello world message in it. So now let's go close the application and put a button. This button will be at the bottom of our rectangle. So first let's import our import our Q quit 
dot control library like this and I will choose the last one perfect now we add the bottom like this bottom perfect it will show a text that will be click me and we are going to anchor it to the bottom of our rectangle like this Let's give it a margin of 20 pixels. And now let's center it. So we're going to use your horizontal center attribute. And it will be the same as horizontal center of rent. Perfect, but we want uh, this button to do something. So we want to change the message of our text. So for that, first let's go to the text and add an ID like this, text one, and the ID has to start with a lowercase letter. As you can see here, it's text and now rec, rec that is our rectangle ID. And we can give this button an action and we're going to use the on click lock in here that will uh, listen when this button is clicked. And let's set the text of text one to hello again. Perfect. Now let's run the application. We can test our button like this. Perfect. If we click the button, it will change this message to hello again. Now let's close this. And now we're going to try to load a new view with a button. So for that, we're going to need another QML file and we're going to right click in the QML.QRC file, like this. And we're going to choose the Add New option. Now we have to search for the Qt file. We're going to choose the QML file. Perfect. And we're going to give it a name. Let's put view, click on next, and leave everything as default. So finish. Perfect. Now we need to put an alias to this file so we can refer to it easily in QML. So for that, we're going to right click the QML.QRC file again. And we're going to open in editor this file. And now we are going to choose the view file and put an alias to it. Let's call it view. And we're going to save. And you can see that 
the name of the file have changed. So now let's go to the view file. Let's change this main item to a page. And for that, we're going to import some libraries first. Quit controls. Okay. And now we're going to change this to page. And we're going to add a text in here, like this. Perfect. And this will show page message. And we're going to anchor it to the center the page in parent perfect now we're going to return to the main .qml file and we're going to add another button like this and this button will have text and we are going to anchor it to the bottom of our window anchor bottom pardon bottom and give a bottom margin of 10 and we're going to center this bottom in the horizontal center of x pattern like this perfect and now we have to create our stack view and this will be a stack that will contain the views that we want to load pushing it to um, the stack and if we want to remove something of the stack view we have to pop from the stack so first our stack view like this we will put an id loader and we're going to fill our window so anchor fill lastly we're going to put the onclick attribute to our bottom and we're going to say that when this button is click we want to push into our stack view loader our view file we're going to do that using this string the qrc column slash view and now let's run the application Perfect. We click a key. We click in here. We can see that the message change. Now we click in load and we change the view. 
So perfect. In this video, we'll learn how to create objects and anchor them to the screen and to other objects in QML. Also, how to create buttons, how to trigger action with them. And finally, we learn how to put alias to a file and load it, use it, and stack view.